what you just said there, um, it's really, really important. And this is one of the things I mentioned in uh, the, my recent videos about Red Pill, is that it's to do with framing. Mm. How do you frame the situation? Mm. So, for example, one of the things, the, the most common things that I mentioned about in Red Pill um, ideology is that women are hypergamous. Those aren't the best. Mm. Um, and there was a similar scenario, if, if, a, if a man who was practicing, two men who are practicing, but one is more richer than the other, who would you choose and blah, blah, blah. That, they always frame it in that, in that scenario. Mm. And the interpretation, the conclusion is that women are hypergamous. But that's according to a particular frame. Mm -hmm. Let's, we can look at the same scenario mm -hmm. from a different frame and have a, have a different, and have a different mm -hmm. uh, interpretation. So mm -hmm. let's look at a different interpretation. Historically speaking, of the men and women out there who has generally had more money, who has generally been more, more, more stronger, who has generally been uh, more dominant and that kind of stuff, as in the reason why a woman may choose a stronger man or a richer man, because that was generally what mm. was there. In a scenario whereby a woman is highly successful and earns a lot more than her husband, is that necessarily what she's still going to go for all the time? Or is, or is she okay marrying someone who maybe isn't as successful? As that? For example, if a woman was mm. a doctor and in really well as a doctor and her husband was a chef, chefs don't get paid as much as doctors. Are you telling me that her husband, she won't marry a guy if he's a chef because she's a doctor? If she gets along with him and she loves him and she has affection for him, well, she, is him being a chef really going to break the marriage down? It's to do with framing. Mm. But again, I want to push back on that a little bit. And yeah, go, go for it. Go for it. Again, because everyone has a frame, right? So yeah. if my frame is that I've reached a certain point in my life, me, I'm just any person, Miss Blogs, I've reached a certain point in my life, educationally, financially, uh, you know, security wise, you know, profession, et cetera, et cetera. I cannot respect a man who is less than me, who earns less than me, who has less than I have. And I deserve someone who's on my level or higher. I know that you're familiar with this because women are constantly saying it, <laughs> like constantly saying it. And this is yeah. something I don't understand. You know, my, my message to women right now, please stop going on TikTok and, and just talking about your madness because it's just, it's, it's so embarrassing to just see yeah, yeah. my sisters in womanhood just like bleh, onto this social platform. All your ridiculous demands your ridiculous expectations, your arrogance, your your conceit, your your meanness, really, and and disregard mm -hmm. for for you know, the basic respect and mm -hmm. and just basic decency. I can't stand it. I I I I, I understand why MGTOW is a thing because mm -hmm. MGTOW feeds on that stuff. So we've changed the subject, yeah. guys. We've gone on another yeah. something else now. <laughs> <laughs> but MGTOW men going their own way black pill, yeah. all of that, they are framing, they allow those women and what those women say about men who are broke, dusties, ugly, uh, ain't got no game, you know, all, all these, you know, short, fat, whatever the case may be, right? Losers, basically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they allow those women to, to, to be their frame. So now they yep. view the whole world through the frame of through that lens. Yeah. women want only the top one percent the top ten percent they every you know they don't date under six foot and all of the data and all of that feeds into the paranoia and the i'm sorry but the nihilism of yeah. you know i am not select i am not in the top ten percent i'm not a high value man therefore what's the point all women are like this shallow vacuous vain um demanding don't have don't mm -hmm. bring anything to the table and all of that because yeah, yeah. ladies that's what y'all putting out on social media and they just make videos well, of it <laughs> but anyway but that's the thing is when they say women are like this the question i say is is that due to her innate nature or due to her nurture very good point very very because, good point because mm. um from what I, there was one there was one really good video i stumbled across literally it was you know those those feeds on youtube and you just yeah. click on it so one guy wanted to compare the desires of women for men or what they want in a man yeah women in the west are women from the east mm. and he chose philippine philippines it was completely different yeah totally it different. was completely different 
As in, they, they weren't concerned about any of the, what the women no, were concerned about. No, it's nonsense. It's literally postmodern Western society where just everyone thinks, yeah, it's just delusion. <laughs> As you know, so, NTR says, it's delusion. It's just yeah. this idea that I, I qualify for whatever I want, you know, and what I yeah. want is what I should have. And if, yeah. if you know, and, and basically, if you can't bring what I want to the table, then, you know, get lost. But again, like, you, but, you know, like you said, people thinking they have time yeah, and that they, they have, have all the options. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, even even when you mentioned anyone that you said you're, you're educated and you've, got, you've, you've reached a certain place in your life that you can't imagine yourself respecting someone less mm. than yourself. That's what you think. I, it's a story. I, I mean, it's a story. It's a, yeah. yeah, it's a story. I do believe that if you had a man whom you love deeply because he treats you well and yeah, yeah. all that other stuff, then his qualification is overlook. Even how tall he is, you'd overlook because he took, he, you're able, you're basically, the question is, yeah. are you able to build this structure with this yeah. person? That's what the question is. Yeah. And but as I'm saying that, I think, the, that, but, mm. go on, from that. No, no, I was just going to say that the, it's, it's not building a lifestyle and an individual lifestyle with a man and kids attached. One of my other guests mentioned that, which I thought was so powerful. She said, look, you either are going to choose yourself uh, and you know, this vision that you have for yourself, I'm that kind of woman. I deserve that. That's the life I want. That's the car I want to drive. That's the house I want to live in. That's the kind of man I see myself with this vision, right? This fairy tale that, you, that you've got in your head and possibly with a man and kids attached or you're going to join with another human being and you're going to build something worthwhile and you're going to put everything you have into that and you're going to sacrifice for it and that's going to be part of your life's purpose but the two of them are not the same i mean if you even if you look even if you just scratch the surface on, on when people speak about what they want from a marriage i think you'd probably even find that kids are not even in in the, in the top five things that they want from a marriage oh yeah that's where, true. That, where, where it should be the top one i mean what else are you coming together for other than to have kids and raise another ummah that is the primary goal because people don't want someone... marriage they want a relationship they want yeah. couple goals yeah. they want yeah. to have the the romance the halal romance you know the halal love story that that the halal hollywood blah blah 